Hey guys, Platform Engineer here. Welcome to my channel. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to set up Docker in a Chromebook environment. Uh, so to first of all, to look into it uh, or to or set it up, we're going to be following the page for installing Docker engine uh, on Debian systems. Uh, this is in the official Docker uh, documentation. And it's as simple as that. It's just literally just following it through. And I'm just going to take you through that. So first of all, there is a section about uninstalling all version. Um, so now this is most likely not relevant to most of you who are watching this video, because I imagine you haven't installed Docker previously in your Chromebook. Uh, but for some reason, if you already have um, and you're still watching that video, then you probably want to uninstall it first. And to uninstall it, there is a section uh, in this link in here or in this page in here that you could follow. I'll post a link to this page in my video's description section so you can navigate to this page from there. Uh, but moving on, we are going to be... There are a few different installation methods to install Docker uh, in environments, just in Linux itself, Linux environment itself. Uh, we're going to be using the apt repository for Docker engine, mainly because uh, this is quite simple, straightforward. There are a few other methods that you can use to install Docker, for example, from a package, but that's a bit more long-winded and yeah, you don't really want to do that if you if you, for some reason, can't actually install using the app repository. So we are going to stick to this, and we're actually not gonna copy the whole bash snippet in here. Instead, I'm going to be copying only up until the curl statement, and then paste that in here. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because if, when a curl statement runs, it's first going to be go get out there and fetch the actual GPG key and then store that into this docker.ascii file. Once it's stored in here, only then we are going to be able to uh, run the command, um, run the command to actually change the mode. Otherwise it's just gonna error out. And that's the reason why I split it out. I don't know why, I'm not too sure why Docker haven't split it out uh, in their documentation because otherwise it would most likely error out. I've run into that before, hence uh, running them separately this time around. But the rest of it should be okay, so I've just copied the rest of it in one go, and I'm just gonna paste them in here and run. Um, and once this has been set up, we can go ahead and actually start installing the Docker packages. Uh, obviously, if you want a specific version, you can just follow along the other section. Uh, or the other tab in here. I'm going to be installing the latest for the purpose of this video. Uh, so we're, so I've just copied this command straight away. So let's go ahead and paste this command. This might take a while. Um, there's a prompt, press yes to it. And uh, so just let it run for some time. I'll probably skip to it straight away, to be honest. So that those of you that are watching are not bored. Okay, so we've finished installing all the Docker packages. Now it's time to test it. Now to test it, we're just going to be simply running this docker run hello world command. Uh, those of you who are not familiar with Docker, what this is going to be doing is that um, it's going to be pulling a Docker image from Docker Hub called the hello world. Uh, and it's then going to attach that image to a container that Docker daemon's gonna create in the background. And it should then print out a simple hello world message basically. This is pretty common uh, way to test that a Docker actually has been installed in a system or in a machine. And we can also further go ahead and just check the Docker version to confirm that it does indeed exist, uh, exist now um, as an executable in our Chromebook. So let's go ahead and run this. Should be pretty quick, it's a very minimal image. Uh, so the pulling and running doesn't take long. And there you go, hello from Docker, which basically shows. So this pull complete shows the image has been pulled successfully 
and this basically shows that the image was successfully attached to a container and that container was run hence it printed out this information uh, we can also test just take the docker version quickly to confirm that it has been installed docker-v and there you go it gives you information about what version it is and what build commit it's from um so yeah thanks for watching uh if you have any questions any feedback uh, or any comments really feel free to post them uh, into the comment section for this video and if you benefited from this uh, and want to follow along to any future content then feel free to uh, hit the subscribe button thank you very much